Hello and welcome to this review of Bocaron Silver Rum. Now I have already reviewed Bocaron Gold. And I have a bottle of that. Same appearance that it's gold. Uh, this is produced in, it says the Caribbean Islands. But it doesn't say specifically Puerto Rico, but Bocaron Bay, Bahia de Bocaron, is uh, Puerto Rican anchovy bay all right so um, it's produced for the brand holder in dallas texas they bottle it there distilled from sugar cane book it on rum dallas texas but really it's a parent company that does their own distilling in dallas Iron Wolf, Iron Wolf Ranch and Farm, and you can look up Iron Wolf and look at their website, and they have a link to the book or on. It won't tear. So uh, they make a gold rum, a silver rum spice rum and a coconut flavored rum uh, this is dangerous that's what they list on their website could be more but because uh, some companies don't list everything could be an overproof but uh anyway the spirit of the caribbean the spirit of puerto rico this guy robin hood who supposedly stole from people and gave to the poor all that stuff uh, marketing stuff on the back i'm not going to read all that it's a beautiful bottle regular size bottle with this uh hemp rope on the neck tied around and tucked in there real tight wooden cap i think it's a neoprene cork though yeah neoprene that Rubber that they put on the bottom of shoe soles, spongy rubber from DuPont, wooden cap. Okay, so I was looking at prices. It runs it's running around fourteen dollars a bottle. So inexpensive rum, clear or gold, silver or gold rum. I saw that at Specs. Total wine doesn't carry it, but I bought this at Rouse's and they had a great deal on either bottle. Well, all four: the spiced, which I didn't buy, the coconut, but I did get the silver and the gold, as you can see. $6.99. Well, it was $7.99 for the gold, and then they dropped the price to $6.99 for the silver. So, of course, I bought it, and I know there's no video reviews for it, and um, practically no written reviews, but I figure, what the heck? I uh, don't know much about Iron Wolf, but here we go. The gold was really nice, too, by the way. All right, here we go. All right. Clear rum, unaged. Like, uh, sort of like vodka, but rum vodka. <laughs> All right. Sugar vodka. Yeah, you get some uh, grassy sugar cane, because sugar cane is a type of grass, so you get that grass aroma. Got to get real deep into the glass to smell it. Nice Buchanan's glass. I broke one of them <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> set it down and I forgot I had put it down on the stoop and then I opened up <laughs> the screen door and it hit the glass and it broke. I was like, ah. Oh. Nice glass though, huh? Oh well. If I can do anything, it's break glasses. That's one skill I've got. Yeah, so it's simple. Grassy, clear rum. Mostly used for mixing. But I'm going to I'm going to taste it and I'm going to do what Bacardi says to do. They said that on their website years ago, they said uh, the general idea is that all silver rum is the same. You just make mixed drinks with it, cocktails, highballs, whatever. But they said, but what you need to do is pour it and taste it. This is what they were saying like in the late 70s. Taste it and then do taste challenges. Basically what the magazine article was saying against the other ones. And you'll notice that it's a much higher grade. Now, whether that's really true, I don't know. Uh, I find it's pretty nice, of course, the Bacardi Silver Superior, as they call it. Uh, but 
I didn't find that it just wiped out the competition, the Ron Rico and the Captain Morgan, but it's very much in the, you know, leading the pack. Okay, taste time. Sugary sweet, like um, cotton candy, sugar water, little oak. Now it might be aged for a month, you know. Like the Bacardi Superior is, the, even the clear is aged in, uh, you know, like used, might be decades used. Uh, old bourbon barrels but um, or oak, just oak barrel but they filter it through a combination of uh, various types of charcoal different wood charcoal so I don't know I, 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 for the price I paid I, I seriously doubt they're going that complex on this how, how could they do that so but basically for a, a, a young product extremely young And by the way, some of the gold rums you get, they're gold because they're adding caramel color to them. They're not required to disclose that. They can add flavoring. Don't have to disclose it. So, <laughs> yeah. It could be uh, spruced up in many cases. This doesn't taste like it. It just tastes like light molasses, sugar, you know, from the sugar cane. They distilled it. Maybe let it set in a barrel for a few days, stored it there till they got after they probably after they uh, filtered it through maybe just one type of charcoal, and they bottled it. But it's very very nice. It's a uh, mild, mellow, easy going. Would make a good mixer. I don't do mixes, so wouldn't be applicable to me. Might go well in coffee with cream though. Uh, if you do that in the morning, that could be a good thing. But um, wouldn't want to overdo it, of course. So, you say, well, there's a lot of little independent companies that don't really compete, but their stuff will be on the shelf selling one for every hundred Bacardi bottles, one for every hundred Captain Morgan bottles. True story. Um, but I think it's worth giving these little companies a chance, trying them out. And in this case, it's well worth it. So it just goes to show you, can you get a really pleasant, easygoing, nice white rum, silver rum, for $6.99, at least when I bought it. I guess the price has gone up a little bit in two years, but I don't think it's gone up drastically here. Like I say, in Texas, they got, they got this for $13.99 at the big one, the big store, Specs. And that's clean. I'm not picking up any downside on it. No, like, harshness, off flavors, like, artificial nastiness, nothing. It's just like I said before, the cotton candy, sugar water, and the oak. And that's it. So, definitely deserves an A. You say, A, A, for this obscure product. A most excellent rum is what you're trying to tell us. That's exactly what I'm... Not trying to tell you, I'm like literally telling you that. So I'll say 94 out of 100, 9.4 out of 10. Now, could it evidence flaws when I bring it into taste challenges? That could happen. Uh, notice a lot of times with other types of liquor, uh, spirits, um, scotch whiskey, Canadian whiskey, on its own merits, when you do it in isolation, it's like, wow, wow, it's fabulous, can't get over it. Then you put it in competition, it, it'll, the other products will bring out deficiencies. You say, oh, I didn't notice this before. So, and you do it blind, so you don't know which is which, and that, that can help balance out the, um, the the equation. You know what I'm saying? Like help you find out if it's really as good as you thought initially. And, but I, I have to go by what I'm seeing initially because that's where I am at this point. So, from the first tasting, it's really wonderful. Um, the bottle looks great with that rope. And you can see where you could untie it yourself if you wanted to. It's just tucked in tightly, so it's fabulous. Um, nice looking product. Well, I have to say. So, Les Ailes Bon Ton Relay, a most excellent white rum, silver rum. And I'm going to end this clear rum. I'm going to end this review by saying, 
Yeah, uh, I don't know if they get tours over there, but it might be like a... It's very small, so you could eat a meal and they show you around at the uh, Iron Wolf in Texas. Out, pretty far out in the country, not actually Dallas, but surrounding area, North Texas. Thank you very much.